Heidi Joy Trataway with the OpenStack Foundation and the Mataka Design Series. And I'm here with Gord Chung. Gord, tell us about yourself. Uh, sure. So my name is Gordon Chung. Um, I'm currently based in Toronto, Canada. Uh, I work for a company called Huawei. Uh, so I've been working on OpenStack since 2012, um, and I've been contributing as a developer since that. Uh, as a developer the entire time. Uh, originally, I began contributing at, towards the Keystone project, and eventually I changed over to the telemetry project where I became a core contributor. And since the delivery pro uh, cycle, I was given the opportunity to become PTL of the telemetry project. Uh, in addition to the telemetry project, I also contribute to various auto projects such as um, also middleware, um, it's something a lot of the Solometer developers actually do, uh, given the cross-project scope of a Solometer. Uh, and lastly, I contribute to PyCADF, which is the event audit uh, model that we have in OpenStack and something that we're trying to proliferate through all the projects. Let's talk a little bit about um, what does Solometer do? Uh, so Solometer is actually just one part of the greater uh, telemetry project. So the telemetry the telemetry project itself has three components. There's Solometer, which is the data collection service. There's Noki, which is the metric resource indexing storage service. And there's A, which is the alarming service. Uh, Solometer itself, it basically just listens to all the data that exists in an open stack environment, and it normalizes it into discrete uh, data points that anyone can use and extend and kind of leverage to do whatever use case they want with the data. Great. Well, let's talk about um, the hot topics your team discussed in Tokyo. The design summit was last week. And tell us about some of the decisions or outcomes from your discussion. Uh, sure. So at the summit, we covered basically topics that range across the three services, telemetry, telemeter, A, and Noki. And we also uh, work with a bunch of other projects uh, to kind of help them leverage some of the data that we collect in Lometer, um projects like Bitrage and Cloud Kitty. Um, so one hot topic that we that we talked about at the summit was um, regarding the requirement for real-time alarms to solve the NFC use case. Um, originally, we added this functionality in Liberty to have the ability to, ability to uh, create alarms based on status changes in your environment. Um, what we plan on doing in the coming cycle is to add better support for more flexible alarm rules and add support for horizontal scaling to allow for better scaling of the system. Um, in addition to that, we also talked about the UI. Uh, so, this, so as I mentioned before, Slumber itself is just a data collection tool. Um, what you do with that data is kind of up to the other services. Um, so Horizon actually presents an interface using Slumber data, but what we found out based on some of the feedback we got was that it wasn't really clear, clear what use case that, what use case Horizon was targeting, um, and it was causing a lot of confusion with users. Um, so working with Horizon, we decided, we decided to kind of simplify the interface and Instead of presenting a bunch of graphs that might be misinterpreted, we decided to kind of focus on CRUD operations, like adding the ability to create and delete alarms and simpler operations such as that. And we also looked at kind of attempting to integrate Noki's uh, Grafana interface into Horizon to kind of better handle visualizations and customizations to kind of build different views on the data. And lastly, I think one hot topic that we test, we uh, covered was the performance testing. So we've actually been doing performance testing, not officially, but kind of within our own companies. Marantis has been doing performance testing on Slumber for the last few cycles. But I think in this cycle, we want to formalize that and kind of test out each of the services that the Slumber project has, whether it be Slumber, Noki, or a, and kind of build a reference architecture to help operators kind of deploy Slumber and scale. Um, and also, we're hoping to find some issues that we can help possibly solve in the coming cycle as well.
It sounds like user needs and identifying user needs and problems to solve is um, a really big part of your conversations. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about those? Uh, yeah, so we've always been kind of open to the feedback we get from operators, and we actually had a survey prior to the summit just to kind of get their opinion on various aspects of the telemetry project. Um, and we got a lot of good feedback. Um, one thing we discovered was that the use cases for, for Slumber's data were very wide. Um, there's a lot of, I think some people are using Slumber for monitoring, uh, others are using it for auto scaling, some are using it for billing. And at the summit, we, given like the wide scope of what we discovered that users were using Slumber for, we realized it wasn't really possible to kind of contain all that functionality within Slumber or within the other uh, telemetry uh, managed projects. So what we decided was that one way we could help operators and users of Slumber uh, kind of adopt uh, the service was to provide them the uh, ability to uh, have example configurations. Because Slumber itself collects a wealth of data that may or may not be uh, important to different use cases. So if we create different uh, configuration files, we can actually help users kind of minimize the clutter that Slumber may end up giving them. Um, and also, we, we also recognized, based on the feedback that we got, was that we had to better promote um, the services that, Slum, that the Slumber project has, not just Slumber, but also A and NLP, and also the services that leverage Slumber, such as Cloud Kitty and Bitrage, that extend the functionality that Slumber collects. So tell us about the new features and enhancements that um, users and operators can look forward to in the Metaka release. Uh, sure. Um, so in the upcoming release, we actually, I, I'll just list off like uh, one, one item from each of the services that we provide. Uh, so in A, which is the alarming service, we're looking to uh, add uh, multiple worker support for event alarms. Again, that's to handle the NFC use case. Um, in Slumber, we're looking to add caching and uh, batch support to help improve light performance, uh, specifically for the NOCI integration. But it should also benefit uh, legacy drivers as well. Uh, and lastly, for NOCI, what we're hoping to do is adding support for metric archive, metric archive sharding, which will help uh, improve the scalability of large data sets. So if users want to create data sets that, or capture data sets that are at a per second level for over a year, the, in the typical deployment right now for NOCI, it will involve transferring a large amount of data, but with this new feature, it should minimize the data and improve the scalability of it. I heard quite a few of the themes that we use to kind of connect the dots between projects um, mentioned in, in what you were just saying. The product work group defined five themes, scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability as um, key themes we're looking forward to in Mitaka. Can you highlight uh, one or two of those? Yeah, sure. Um, so I think the work items that we kind of captured at the summit cover all the all the themes, but I think if we were to highlight one or two of them, I think the main one would be scalability, um, especially revolving around the alarming and storage point of view of Slometer. Um, they've classically been, or typically been, kind of pain points that users have complained about and it's something we we're hoping to address. Um, and in addition to that, we're going to work on modularity. Um, it was something we started in Liberty where we kind of broke down kind of the behemoth that was Slometer into smaller, uh, more consumable services. Uh, and that's something we're going to focus on doing or continue doing as well in Mitaka, um, just to kind of refactor the services a bit more and allow for better integration from uh, external projects. Is there anything else you'd like to add for the folks watching? Uh, sure. Um, so I guess from a con contribution point of view, the Slometer, A, and Noki projects are always, always willing to have more help from contributions, uh, new, con new, con new contributors, whether it's new features or bug fixes. Um, I think in addition to that, being heavy contributors to the Oslo projects. We're always looking for more help in Oslo as well. 
uh, especially around uh, the messaging. Um, the message queue is actually a, a very important role in the entire open stack, uh framework, and I think it sometimes it's a little bit neglected. So if people want to help out there, that'd be great. Great. Thank you for taking time to talk to us today. We appreciate it. No problem. Thanks very much.